Hey y'all, my name is Nat. I hope you guys are having a terrific day. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and for this video I'm going to be doing a summer reading bingo TBR. So I'm sure some of you guys are wondering, Nat, what is a summer reading bingo? Well, turns out apparently my university would do a summer reading bingo every year where they would give you a bingo sheet and every slot is a prompt for a book and if you got a bingo on it, you would be entered into a drawing to win a Amazon gift card or something of the like. Well, your girl didn't know this was a thing until after she graduated. However, I have taken it upon myself that I want to attempt to try and clear the board of the bingo card for my own summer reading and try and use this to rearrange my TBR, maybe. So for this video, I am going to be giving you guys the prompt and what book I will be reading. Let's get started. So the first book is a book you have always wanted to read but haven't. For this one, I am going to be doing Graceling by Kristen Kishore. I tried to read this book in like sixth grade, but for some reason I just wasn't very invested in it. However, I am still intrigued by the premise of it, so I am going to try and reread it and see if it catches me better now that I am older. This series essentially revolves around people who have graces, which are specific abilities that empower them to do certain things. The main character in this one, Katza, has the grace of being a killer. She's been able to kill a man since she was eight years old, and because of it, she now works for the king. She ends up going on this adventure with the prince and learns more about her grace and the power behind it. The next prompt is a book that is science fiction. I don't read a ton of science fiction, but I do want to try and branch out into it some more. So for this one, I'm going to be doing The Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells. I found this one because of the book The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter by Theodore Goss in which she takes characters from classic horror and sci-fi books and mashed them all together into her own trilogy. I really enjoyed those, so I want to try and read some of the originals where she got inspiration from, one of those being this one. This story revolves around the life of a man named Edward Prindick after he has been shipwrecked on the island of Dr. Moreau. Prindick is then exposed to all of the terrible experiments Moreau has been performing on the animals and inhabitants of this island. I'm very intrigued to read some more of this. It's fairly short, so I'm sure I can blast through it pretty quickly. Another prompt on the list is a book in which the main character has your name. For this one, I'm going to be reading Black Widow Forever Red by Margaret Stahl. This is the first installment in a Black Widow novel series, which I'm very interested to read about. In this book, a young girl named Ava, who was the daughter of a Russian physicist, I think, some kind of scientist. She is rescued by Black Widow herself, and eventually young women all over Europe start disappearing, and Natasha believes that they are being taken for the Red Room where Black Widows are trained by her old by the man who trained Natasha herself, and she ends up teaming up with Ava to try and find all of these missing girls and take the man down. I do enjoy comic novelizations, and I'm very interested to see if the character we see in this book is true to the character we often see in the comics. The next prompt is a book that takes place where you grew up. So for this one, I am going to be doing The Dime by Kathleen Kent. This story is about a Brooklyn detective who has recently moved to Dallas, Texas and is finding it is a lot more than she was expecting, having to go up against cartels, cults, a stalker, and things such as that. I'm definitely interested in this one because it seems kind of like a mystery, but also is set in my hometown of Dallas, and I'm hoping I might be able to identify, if not with the character, at least with the setting pretty well, and maybe pick out things that I know here and there. That's always fun. The next prompt is a poetry book. Unfortunately for me, I don't like poetry. If you are in the same boat as me and found something that changed your mind, 
Let me know if you just happen to have a favorite poetry book that you think might change my mind. Let me know. The next prompt is a book by your favorite author. For this one, I am going to be going with one of Dorinda Jones, the kickoff to a new series, A Bad Day for Sunshine, which takes place in a small town where Sunshine has just recently been named the mayor, not mayor, the sheriff. However, she ends up getting way more than she was expecting when a little girl goes missing and she is now concerned for her own child's safety as well as having to deal with a old flame coming back into her life. Dorinda Jones writes some of the funniest books. I have read her Charlie Davidson series twice, three times, three times, and I absolutely love it. So if you haven't read those, highly recommend. The next prompt is a book that was on my university's Goodreads page. For this one, I'm going to be going with The Likeness, which is the second book in the Dublin Murder Squad series. The Likeness revolves around a detective named Cassie who is put on a case in which a woman has been murdered. However, the victim looks exactly like Cassie. I'm definitely intrigued by this one. We got to see a little bit of Cassie in Tana French's previous book, In the Woods, so I am excited to return to this character. The next prompt is a fairy tale retelling. For this one, I am going to be going with Cinder by Marissa Meyer, which is the start of the Lunar Chronicles. I know some of you are probably yelling at me like, how have you not read this series? If you're not aware, Cinder is a retelling of Cinderella, if you couldn't guess, in which she is actually a cyborg. That's all I need to know because I'm definitely intrigued by that. The next prompt is a book that was originally written in a foreign language. For this one, I'm going to be going with The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafón. It takes place in 1945 Barcelona, where a little boy named Daniel has found a book called The Shadow of the Wind written by a man named Julian Carax. However, Danielle can't find anything else about Julian Carax and goes on this adventure to try and discover as much as he can about the author, the books, his inspiration, and the life he led. I'm currently listening to the audiobook and my lord, Safan's writing is absolutely beautiful. There are four books in this series and I'm not sure if the rest of them are translated, but I really hope they are. The next prompt is a audiobook, which I listen to plenty of audiobooks as it is, and some of these others I've already mentioned I might listen to as audiobooks, so I'm gonna double count this one and kind of cheat. The next prompt is a book with a one word title. So for this one, I'm going to be going with Wanted. This is a graphic novel by Mark Miller. This is actually what the movie of the same name with James McAvoy and Angelina Jolie was based on. Essentially, this man named Wesley, who lives a really normal life but isn't very happy with it, finds out that his father was actually recently killed while working with a fraternity of assassins. Wesley ends up taking his father's place and while learning to become a hardcore badass, also is trying to find out what happened to his father. The next prompt is a book that is a award winner. For this one, I'm going to be going with Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Adair Seans. This story revolves around two kids, Dante and Aristotle, both of who are kind of loners, but they end up becoming friends and learning more about each other, their families, and the world itself. I've heard nothing but good things on this one and I'm definitely excited to read this. The next prompt is a book that is about a pandemic. Too soon? I don't currently have one filling this slot just because I'm not sure if it might hit a little too close to home at the moment. However, if you do have some recommendations for one that fits this, let me know in the comments down below. I will consider it maybe in August. The next prompt is a book that is historical fiction. Now, I don't read a lot of historical fiction, so I'm kind of going with one that is somewhat fantastical as well, and that is The Witch's Daughter by Paula Braxton. This revolves around a girl who sees her mother hangs for witchcraft in the 1600s. She is then taken under the wing of a warlock who shows her the secrets of her powers and even allows her to become immortal. It shifts to present day in which the same woman is now living a life of loneliness. However, the warlock who trained her is trying to find her and take back the power he gave her? 
I think. I'm definitely intrigued about this one. I do want to try and dive into some more historical fiction, so hopefully this will kick off a new passion. The next prompt is a self-help book. For this one, I went with The Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. I already read this actually, and I included it in my May wrap up, which I will leave you in the cards up here. Year of Yes is a story about Shonda, who is a writer in Hollywood for a lot of big name TV shows. However, even though she's constantly being invited to all these crazy and awesome things, she says no to it almost constantly. So she ends up challenging herself for a year to say yes to absolutely everything and see how her life changes. It was really interesting, pretty awesome message. The next prompt is a book that you were recommended by a friend. For this one, I'm going to be going with the Throne of Glass series, which was recommended to me by my friend Allie, as I mentioned in my May wrap up as well. I've already started diving into the Throne of Glass book after having read the novellas. And if you're unaware, the story revolves around Selena, who was once an assassin, then sent to be a slave, and now becoming a champion to compete in this Hunger Games-esque thing, to become the personal assassin for the king of the land. The next prompt is a book with a purple cover. For this one, I'm going to be going with the sequel to The Witch's Daughter, Return of the Witch, also by Paula Braxton. Because this is a sequel and I haven't read the first one yet, I don't know a ton about it, and I'm kind of okay with it, I don't want to take the chance to maybe spoil myself, so leaving it at that. The next prompt is a book about a foreign land. For this one, I'm going to be going with The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. This story revolves around two princes, one who has been exiled named Patro Patroclus? Patroclus? I think that's how you pronounce his name. And the other, Achilles. The two end up becoming unlikely friends, developing a relationship, but unfortunately this ends up taking place during the time of the Trojan War and obviously things aren't going to go as well. I don't know if I'm ready for the heartbreak that I know is coming in this one. The next prompt became a TV show or a movie. Personally, I went with one that became a TV show and it was In the Woods, which is the first book by Tana French in the Dublin Murder Squad series. This is another one I have already read thus far and you can also check out in my May wrap up. This revolves around a man who, when he was a child, disappeared alongside two of his friends, but the following day he was found and his two friends have not been. It is now 20 years later, he is a police officer and is put on a case to solve a young girl's murder in the same woods where he went missing. <sighs> the next book is a biography or a memoir. For this one I went with My Friend Dahmer by Durf Bachdurf because I am totally obsessed with true crime. This graphic novel illustrates Durf's relationship with Dahmer when they were in high school. Next, a book that is a classic. For this one I am going to be going with The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I've been wanting to dive into this book for quite some time and I'm excited to finally force myself to do it. If you're unaware, this book revolves around a man named Dorian Gray who has made a deal with a devil? Demon? Something? He's made a deal so that instead of aging himself, this portrait that has been done of him is the one that showcases what he truly looks like. Next, a book that you are rereading as a favorite. I'm a member of a online book club, Well Read Till I'm Dead, and for one of our months, August I believe, we are going to be reading The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chaposky. I read this in high school and I absolutely loved it. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a ton of highlighting in it. Some of it's just quotes I thought were really funny, others are ones that were really deep and I thought were really meaningful, but I'm very excited to get back into this book and revisit it now as an adult. Essentially, the story revolves around a freshman in high school named Charlie who makes friends with these two seniors and ends up learning about life, love, sex, and himself. I really enjoyed it the first time I read it, and I'm really hoping that I enjoy it just as much the second time around. Next, a children's book. So for this one instead, however, I am going to be using it as a middle grade novel, and I am going to be reading The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. If you're unaware, this is the first book in the Percy Jackson series. Basically, Percy ends up finding out that he is a demigod, and his father is Poseidon of the Greek gods. Shockingly, I read this book after the movie came out. I know. 
But I did agree that the book was way better than the movie. However, every time I tried to continue the series, I just wasn't as interested. I'm hoping now that I'm older and I have a better attention span, I can actually manage through this series because it seems like something I truly would love, especially since I do really enjoy Greek myth. Greek mythology. <laughs> Next on the list, a book that was released before 1920. And for this one, I'm going to be going with Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. This book revolves around a woman named Catherine and her love for a man named Heathcliff. Heathcliff was once her father's ward, I think. But after her father died, Heathcliff was then viciously bullied by Catherine's brother and he ended up leaving. Now that he is back and he is a rich and fancy gentleman, he wants to take revenge for all of the miseries he ended up experiencing. Finally, a book that has animals in it. And for this one, I'm going to be going with Animal Farm by George Orwell. This one revolves around a farm where the animals end up taking it back and trying to establish equality and freedom and justice, but they're animals so it's completely satirical. I am intrigued to read this one given the fact it was a commentary on Stalinist Russia. Alright, so that is it for my summer reading bingo. If you have any recommendations for the ones I mentioned previously, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for coming to my channel today guys, I really appreciate it. Please remember to hit subscribe, I am hoping to come out with a, another video on Friday, but until then I hope you continue to have a terrific day. Bye!